years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Ezel Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 2nd of April. We're looking at the Dow. Dow, let me just get this updated. Uh, the Dow is now down 437 points at 39,128. Just held this Chapman Wave inside track support level. Uh, we're looking at the S&P. And one of the reasons why we remained short the Dow is that I was looking at this and the more charts that I went through and I have to tell you round numbers I will talk about round numbers in a moment I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 this is just uh, on a real quick basis last night 14 stocks that made all time highs with a round number high I, this to me is just I've never seen that before ever and anyway let's just get on here so the S&P is down 51 at uh, 51.92. It's now underneath the 14 period moving average but to, to really get that green nine period moving average to sink under the 14 to go pink. Huh, you're going to need at least another 50 points at least in the S&P downside. QQQ, same thing, holding very nicely up until now. Now the green line is moved down with the black line, but it hasn't crossed negative. It's very close. The, the Qs are down six at 438.90. I, I need to go to this right away to tell, show you the IWM, which is the Russell 2000, <clears throat> holding near the highs, not the all time highs, but the most recent highs in the 210, 211 area, is now down at 205. I mentioned yesterday to get their green period moving average to go under the, the black 14 period moving average to change to pink. It's going to take a lot, probably 203. Well, here we are, 205. The low today so far is 204.58. Looks like it's going to have to go even deeper than that. So it's down three at 205.24. Now let's go to the gold. So the gold at this particular point is up even more. It's up $33 at 229.0. Oh. <clears throat> um, leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly, uh, leg uh, gray leg B in the um, monthly. Has it, the continuous contract gone above? I don't like to type the price in because that always changes because it's a continuous contract gets smoothed out so that high on this at this particular moment is September the 20th it hit 2222.1 we are now at 2295 we're at not the highs of September of 2020, 2011 which is at 2339 but really close. Oh, this gold is really. Now, I think that this, look, if you've got gold doing this, you have to check on silver. Otherwise, it is a, a geopolitical economic trade. So at this point, silver has to be playing catch up. So it's up 59 cents, but it's way behind. It hasn't even gone through the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart. And that just says to me, let's see what platinum's doing. Not that they're related. Yeah, platinum's up quite sharply. Let's see what palladium's doing, pal. Yeah, finally it's moving. Ah, no, it's doing nothing. Yeah, this is very specific. And that means you've got the dollar holding really well, down 15 ticks. But holding in the upper range is still an egg C in the weekly chart. That's a big deal. But... The fascinating part of it is you've had gold and the dollar going in the same direction. I believe very strongly that that's a geopolitical aspect because the GDX is moving higher. It's up quite nicely. It's up 32 cents today, 32.35, but it's not great. It's just barely above the left side high in this chat wave cup formation that we look at always for the pattern, for the plumb line, which we couldn't use. We use the plumb line of uh, the around about the 12th of February mm. for a left side, right side price time match. But it's not a time, it is a price match going to the high of the GDX, the gold miners of 32.35.
back on the 22nd of December before plunging. And I have to say plunging to 2567 because 32 to 25, seven points, you're talking a big percentage. And now it's come back in a shorter period of time, but it's just barely snuck above that high. So isn't this interesting? Mm. The weekly chart, yes, has gone above the inside track uh, repellent zone. That's become a propellant zone in the 29s. Uh, but look at the monthly chart. There's nothing great here. I think this is a geopolitical uh, phenomenon. Not only that, let's go to uh, the EUR USD. This is the US USD. This is EUR US. Oh, first of all, I need to apologize. Subscribers, I sent out four times my newsletter. I started off at quarter to eight this morning when the SOXS was trading at about $3.15, and I said, we want to rebuy it. We had, had it before, we want to get back in. Um, and that would have been just perfect, because here it is at 331. So I didn't add, I've got my email, which is completely messed up through passwords. I'll, I'll have it fixed up later this evening. And what happened? I didn't see that I, my newsletter never went out. And I'm tootling along. I had other big issues going on here, my own personal stuff that I had to organize, a position that I thought I'd put on perfectly yesterday, which evidently I did something <laughs> incorrectly. So I'm busy fixing all this stuff up. And then I, I start to get messages to say, uh, what's going on? But I didn't see it in my email. I always get it. It says the trader's call has gone out. I didn't see it, so I sent it again. It didn't go out. I sent it again. It didn't go out. And then finally, thank goodness, uh, Jacob, uh, our, our wonderful tech person who does a great job, even with the shows, um, really to, uh, just really was a help to me. And he sent he sent out my, my newsletter. Unfortunately, we didn't get the position that I sent. Was, oh, it was so timing was perfect this morning. Anyway, we are short the Dow. We would have been short the semiconductors as well in a new position. And yeah, they are tanking in the semiconductor. Look at this. SMH is trading right now down almost five at 223. This whole area, the 239.14 high of uh, August 3rd. Look at this. NVDA, NVIDIA. Down 25 at 879. Had a round number, a round number, 974.00 all time high. Are around about the uh, ninth or so of, I should put in the date, right? Around about the eighth, the eighth of March. Unbelievable. And I don't want to go through all the rest, but there are just, I think this is going to be something of, of great significance over the coming weeks. It, it could start to come back to all time highs. I, can, I have no doubt that leadership stays as leadership, but this is going to be really important. Look, R, ARM Holdings. There we go. ARM, round number high of 160. 164.00 on the 12th of February. The year it is at 123. I mean, I could just go on and on and on, uh, but I'm not. Right now, we're looking at the Dow down 475. I'll be right back. Tiger Commission's hour. Let's see what happens in this hour. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50% and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. If for some reason, one of my emails is working. So look at this, PVH. This is PVH, this is the clothing company, PVH Corporation, down 30 at 109.59, down 21%. Then there was a VFC, VFC, uh, down 1 at 1423. Yeah, not so good. Uh, and Tesla, TSLA, Tesla is just getting hammered down 8 at 166. I think I think the numbers that they have uh, are out. And then, of course, to go with everything, at 940, my internet goes out. <laughs> What a day. Um, but everything came back, and here we are, calm as, calm as can be. We're looking at the EUR, USD, <clears throat> trading uh, just barely up at 1.07. You see, this is what I'm talking about. It's very unusual circumstances. USD, JPY. This is the yen holding steady up at the higher range. Uh <clears throat> 151.54, of course, the higher it goes, it shows weakness, actually, but the yen is moving higher. Um, all I can say is this is extremely unusual circumstance. Let's see the VIX index. So now I don't mind if the VIX index is sharply higher, but this is really higher. At 15.41, up 1.76 over the 200-period exponential moving average. It's done that a couple of times now. Is this going to be one of those situations where the VIX index suddenly wakes up tootling along in the 13s, suddenly it's in the 15s. Look, it's making higher lows and not yet higher highs. But um, the fact that the Dow is all, way off its high, <clears throat> the S&P, let me just check in time, SPX.X. Now, this is something that's also only three days ago, but it is from 52.64 to 51.86, about 80 points lower. Um, yeah, so the VIX can move. It's a little too much. It says to me, maybe we've got a little overbought. Uh, maybe there's going to be some kind of a bounce. However, look how interesting this is. Look, here's the continuous contract, the ES. This is the continuous e-mini contract. 
It isn't a leg D in the monthly chart. It is in a leg D in the weekly chart. See, the S&P is only in C, the cash. Cash is the most important. But I'm not ignoring the fact that you finally got a leg D, and it's only a leg. I have to wait until next week before we can consider it to be a peak. You have to wait for the next bar to have a lower high bar before you can talk about it as being a peak. Right now, it's still a leg D. This is a peak F in the 120-minute chart. But wait a minute. Look at this, NQ is actually in a, at a peak E. It's already been at a peak E for a while. In the weekly chart, it's at a peak D. This is the Chapwing methodology, just for those of you who are new to my work. Um, the object is to go from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, meaning that you should go to at least you, not, not you, but the uh, instrument you're following, should go to at least a peak D. It can go higher, E, F, or G, but D is already the objective um, in a buy mode. So we've already got that uh, accomplished here. But if you look at the QQQ index 100, um, it's at a peak D and holding quite steady, not too bad in the weekly chart, and a peak F of 449.34 um, in the daily chart. Leg, it's only a leg B in the monthly chart. I, this is all over the show. Let's go to the IWM. So that will be RTY. The RTY is already a leg D. In the weekly chart, only a leg B in the monthly, and a peak E uh, slash B is probably an E in the uh, daily chart. But if you go to the IWM, that's actually at an E. So all I can say is I don't have everything in sync to say this is the move that should be really sharp to the downside. What I do have are all the indications that there should be some kind of a breather over the next couple of weeks. And there could still be one jagged move to the upside in a couple of these instruments to go slightly higher. But now I want you to show you this. Bonds. Look at this weekly chart. I have to wait for Friday. But so far, this is the first time that the nine-period exponential moving average has crossed negative in the weekly chart since it crossed positive way back in <clears throat> December, the week of the 15th of December of last year. The daily chart doesn't look very good, but it did nick the low that was made back around about the 20th, the 22nd of February of 117 and 12 30 seconds. We today's low is 117 and 5 30 seconds. If you look at the TLT, remember even here there's a slight difference. The TLT, slightly different chart formation, just slightly different, because it's based on the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF. Um, 9201 was the low right about the 22nd of Feb, and today's low is 91.33. So just a slight difference in the actual pattern. Uh, but basically, it's almost the same thing in the sense that the nine period moving average has crossed negative. But I have to wait for Friday to say that the weekly has closed negative. So it's it's a process that's unfolding right now. Um, a question came in: Can I post the uranium chart? R U N M. Yeah, uranium trading. I just have to refresh. There it is. Trading at. 51.55 down 57 cents, just making this U-turn, a little inverse head and shoulders, cup formation has gone above, second day that has gone above the high that was made right here on the 8th of March. So my target would be this cluster formation at the 52.40 level. Uh, look, this is really bullish, but at this point, I have to wait the full week before I can say it's bullish on the weekly chart. When the price of the nine period moving average, when the price takes the moving average down, but it holds green and doesn't go pink, and yet the price has been one, two, three, four, five, six, even this week it's been underneath the black 14 period moving average. This is six weeks, seven weeks, and it didn't turn pink. That can be very positive. Look, the daily chart is already started moving higher. This is leg A, leg B, oh, sorry, peak A, peak B, leg C right now. And that's what I've been talking about for quite some time, that there's a chance that uranium 
is the surprise, <laughs> actually it's gold, but it would have been uranium that was the surprise in 2024 because it's holding so well, it could survive a whole bunch of big negatives if this is the case. And that would say that if on a weekly basis in April, there's a close above 54.75, I'd prefer 55, but I'll say 54.75, then there's a chance that we could tackle a leg D in the monthly chart above the 57, was it 58? 58.86 high that was made the week of uh, February. No, that was in February. Right. So that would be really important. A key support is absolutely 45. So break below 45 would be very negative. Hope that helps you. Uh, yes. Now, um, oh, got a break coming up. So as we're going to the break, I want you to do one thing that I was asked about. And now, of course, I can't find. Oh, test. No, I did test that. Let me show test that. T S L A. Yeah, it's down nine at 165.84. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Emissions Hour, Dow's at 410. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day.
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, folks. So, uh, yeah, I sent this to the Dan Tiger Dan uh, um, much earlier this morning, around about 8 after. I thought I'd already sent out my uh, Traders Corner, my um, service, my opening call service. Um, anyway, there's a cup formation in the E-mini 120-minute chart. So the high that was made about 53.20 back on the 20, um, 21st, 22nd of March, <coughs> pull back. I could not use the plumb line at the very bottom. I used this uh, one of the techniques I used. I used this midpoint right here, and it took you a little longer to make. We in a shorter period of time, we made a higher high, we made a high of, of five, right here of five. That was yesterday on the, no on the thirty first of March, um, we went to thirty five three 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 point fifty. And I showed that there was when I showed it, we were about over here. And I said, this is the arch formation. And that today, the 52.63 low that was made around about the 26th of March, that would be the target. But the moving average, the 200 period moving average of 5255 um, is really important. Well, we took it out. So this cluster formation over here becomes a really important support. Uh, intraday, and I, I'm, I don't know if we're going to take that out now without having a decent bounce, but this is the, oops, I didn't mean to put an oval. I can keep the oval. Uh, right here, that's the whole area between, and it takes you to a low of 53, no, 52.33, and we already have made a low of 52.35.00 this morning. So um, that's that's the pattern we're looking at. Now, I had a question about MRO. I think I had a question about it yesterday. MRO is Marathon, MRO, Marathon Oil. And there we go, Marathon Oil Corporation. Yeah, going to uh, recovery, not, not all-time highs, but at, at least a, a high over the past few months at um, 28.63. And this is Marathon Oil, so oil Service. So um, another question came in about rig. So rig is straight. I spoke about this yesterday. It was holding very nicely, and with oil pushing up so so sharply, you'd expect Transocean Limited off, offshore drilling oil and gas to being quite nice. What, let's see what gas is doing. NG. Oh, gas is a uh, UNG could finally be on the move. UNG is trading at fifteen fifty two up thirteen cents. I would not be surprised with all, all the different commodities acting so well. <clears throat> that you might be seeing um, a little bit of a rally, or even though the winter's finished in the natural gas, just a kind of a reflex action. So um, in terms of weekly chart with the rig, this is just a single leg A. Now, this is fascinating to me because here you have a single leg A going from a low of uh, 445 area back around the uh, mid-February, mid and leg F in the 120 minute chart. But look at this. There's the Chapman instant restart. If you get to a peak D and within three bars you make a new high, a high, now you've got to consider that it's an alternate count E stash A, F stash B. I typed in G stash C. That's the only one you really need to type in as an alternative because in your mind you should be thinking parallel count. And invariably G stash C goes to a D, and here you've got your D. The MAGD, the moving average convergence, divergence, strong. Stochastic at 90% strong. On balance volume, a little overbought. The nine period moving average is way over the 14. And in this pattern that I spoke about uh, when I was showing the chart the other day, this first cup formation, now I can draw in the second potential cup formation. And that would take you to this high right here. If you took it to this low right here, I couldn't use the plumb line before because it was lopsided. I used that camera right there. Now I can use <clears throat> this line right here, the actual low. And I can go make this green and make this one pink. So here we go, green. 
And that takes you all the way to way past next week. So even here is a little lopsided. That takes you to the 11th of April. Um, the way it looks right now, we might even do that within the next day or two. And that would say that the high that was made in rig, which was on the 27th of December, could be uh, impacted much sooner. You've got your chat wave inside. Oh, isn't that interesting? Look, there's the inside wedge target repellent line, and that goes all the way to, am I grabbing the wrong thing? Yeah, I am. There it is. So that takes you to, oh, it matches. It goes all the way to there. Yeah, but I could also put in another one to say, is there a chance that there's a speedier move to the upside, and that takes you all the way to this one right here. <clears throat> okay, so within that context, rig is in the oil, offshore drilling oil and gas. It's getting the benefit of uh, oil, crude oil going higher, but maybe also the natural gas starting to move a little bit. Uh, oh, I should have mentioned, we are long for 581, and here it is at 662. <clears throat> this is a nice move up for subscribers. Most importantly, it's telling you that the key support is in the 606 area to 592. That's really what you always want to look at is what, what what's my risk? And my risk is going back to support. Okay, that was that. Next question came in. Oh, the F, XLF. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting. You made a peak F in the XLF, the S&P Select Spider Financial Fund. And right there, and that was at 42... <clears throat> 42.22 with the Chapman Wave 2 bar decline at 42.20 the next day. So let's make this 22. Here we go, 22. And we're trading at 41.77, still holding really well. And it's at a G slash C in the weekly chart. But 41.70 was the all-time high back in 2022, January. <clears throat> Plummets to 29.59, October of 2022. This is only a leg B, and this is a brand new leg B. That's not an E slash, sorry, F slash B. I'm calling this a B because the MACD is strong, stochastics at 96, so that's really good. Now, the one that really bothers me <clears throat> is KRE. KRE is the S&P Regional Banking ETF. We are long, <clears throat> made it stop much tighter, haven't been in this position ever, or at least maybe once, but I, I really don't think so. No, I remember. We were, we were in it a long time ago. <clears throat> but it's not acting very well. It couldn't get through the inside track repellent line right there. So this is going to be important. Why? Because I want to see the regionals start to not play catch up, but at least be propelled higher because you need to have the regionals, not just the financial money center banks, you want the regionals to be doing well, as, and that's going to be important. I'll be back in a moment. That was, uh, down 396. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. It's the 22nd anniversary of the Gold Report. Can you believe it? We've taken 22 trips around the sun together, and we have many more to come. This year alone, the Gold Report has returned over 50%, and I want you to come along for the ride. I provide in-depth analysis of the gold market as a whole, in addition to providing outlooks on individual mining equities. For a limited time, you can save 35% off the monthly price for as long as you subscribe. 35% savings will be applied to the current monthly price, and it will stay with your subscription forever. With gold pushing all-time highs, gold equities trading higher, and inflation still raging, this is a great time to try my newsletter, The Gold Report. First-time subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Just enter promo code 22 years at checkout, and you'll see the 35% savings applied to your subscription price, and this deal will stay with your subscription for as long as you subscribe. Don't forget, just enter promo code 22 years at checkout. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one strain of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. 
Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, we're back. So, what, what's the importance of this particular move now? So, let's just look at this. You've got the SMHs. Oops, where did I type that? Oh, man. You've got the SMH. Here we go. SMH, which is a semiconductor index, only down 4.84 at 223.12. You know, let me just draw in some lines here. I think I can take this now. This is done. I was expecting a dreaded H pattern. We haven't really got that yet. There are signs that we can get it. Uh, was that a big B up? I think that's a B. So in the dreaded H pattern, let me just show you the chart that we're looking at. This is a pattern, a very frequent pattern on the way down. Price comes down sharply and then tries to rally. Remember, the three basic patterns, straight line up, straight line down, cup formation, arch formation, mix of one and two, one and three. One and three is sharply down, it rallies to an A, and then it fails and takes out the left side low. If it takes it out sharply, you can go one to one to the downside. We did that. We did that again, A minus, A minus. And now there's an A, and there's a, a, it goes sideways for five days, and then it pops up to a higher high and then turns around. So I'm anticipating that this is a bigger move for the semiconductors, but not until, I mean, Looking at the, let me just finish doing this drawing here. Not until we can actually see the left side low sharply taken out. And that's the low of uh, 212.82 on the 19th of March. Until we sharply below that, um, we're getting closer to the green line moving to pink, but it hasn't done it yet. So until we're really down to that level, I can't even talk about this as being some kind of, at this point, we haven't even got a sell signal confirmation, let alone a sell mode. So, and, and to me, it's really important that the semiconductors or lead us up and they lead us down, the general market. So that's important. And the weekly chart has stalled for four weeks since the high of 239.14 on the 8th of March. Um, but it hasn't gone anywhere. And this is almost like a Chapman Wave Roman, green Roman candle. This is the second week since then. You've kind of run out of time for this particular technique to work. But at any point, regardless, if there's a trade of a day where it closes, the um, SMH is closed below 218, um, I suspect that the, the tail, which will be that low, the 212 area, 213 area, will be taken out. But in the meantime, <clears throat> This is only a leg C in the monthly chart. So the VENEC vector semiconductor ETF should go even higher. That's number one. Number two is within that context, I showed you a couple of them, a couple of the, um, uh, so look at this. This is in, in not the semiconductor area, but in the tech area that was just absolutely on fire. You've got uh, super micro um, 
service solutions, architecture, high-powered AI, computing, etc., makes a 1229 round number high. That day it also made a 1212.00 open, and here it is trading at 986, um, 200 something points down, lower. Yeah, that's important to me, but it's the same pattern. It's going to peak A, peak B. Is it going to make a, um, a, the dreaded H pattern where you take out the left side low? I don't know, but it's this is something to monitor. That's all I'm saying. Peak D for weeks now in the weekly chart and a leg E in the monthly chart. And if you go to what was an M MS MSTR, which is um, MicroStrategy, also in the tech sector, made a peak D with a 1999.99. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this up. Missed by one penny, a round number high. But the same bar that made the all-time high had a 1953.00 open and a 1942.00 low. And here it is trading at 1547, 400 something points, 450 points lower than that. I think this is quite and a peak F in the uh, weekly chart if there's no new high this week. And a leg D, maybe a peak D if all of April doesn't make a higher high above 1999.99. Fascinating, huh? So I, I mean, look at this, STZ. This is this is the a fantastic company, Constellation Brands A shares. It has spirits, alcohol, and it, uh, it bought a cannabis company. It was a fantastic company, and I had said, Oh, this goes way back, that Constellation Brands did everything right in the wine and spirits sector. But once in 2018, once they took over the um, whatever the cannabis company was, I said, it's a whole new learning experience. My suggestion was that you hold off because it could pull back. And wow, we went from 236 back in April of 2018, that's four years ago, I wanted to about six years ago, Six years, how time flies, um, to, to the March 2020 low of 104.28. And here it is, more than double at, at 268. Still a fantastic looking chart. But look at that 273 round number high on the 29th of March. I, I don't know how these things happen so often in different sectors. Remember, we spoke about Berkshire Hathaway, a B. KX dot B, that's the B shares. PKX is oh Berkshire Hathaway, B R K dot B. Yep, there it is. Four thirty point zero zero round number high and a four twenty two open on the March the twenty February the twenty sixth. Right here it is trading at two four nineteen, but it's been down to the four hundred level. So, yes, and it's a leg D to the upside, maybe a peak D today. So I'm just saying to you, I take, I have great respect. I've been following round numbers uh, since the 1980s and the 1987 crash of October the 19th. I, I never up until then seen that number of round numbers on that Monday. And that was a clue to me that we, had, we were finished with the downside and that we would be moving up to high highs within 18 months. This is a little different. This is implying that there is some kind of a digestive phase that is likely to happen. Now, interesting enough, Microsoft has barely had any <clears throat> round number highs at the highs. Look, Microsoft is trading right now at uh, 420, oh, 0.00. <laughs> well, it was just intraday for a split second it made a round number. Um, it heard me talking about it. It made a 430.82 all-time high on the 24th of March, and now it's at 420. It's had a couple of round numbers in the 420s, but nothing really uh, that I can point to as kind of significant. They weren't uh, at the open. Was that at the open? I don't remember. But I, I'm not seeing a lot. And that just says to me that buying in Microsoft is a lot more... Um, I wouldn't say serious, but it's a much more much much more intense. So it's holding very nicely. I suspect it's going to consolidate. 410 is really 412 is going to be a very important number. A close below that says, oops, now the weekly chart is going to be impacted. 
um, oh, just for disclosure, I should mention we are long. What was the other question I had right here, if I can see it? Um, oh, could I check on UNG? Yes, UNG is now up a little more. It's up 22 cents at 15.61. This action that we're seeing right now has the MACD moving higher for quite some time. A very big divergence between the moving average convergence divergence and the price itself. So this is giving you a little bit of room to say, yep, the, the 1595 to 1630 area. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I had a question about Pins, Pinterest, uh, <clears throat> Discovery Engine for recipes, home ideas, style. <clears throat> An all-time high up at about 90 comes uh, down to under 20 trading right now 34.53 um, this single leg A up A and now it's come back down like an Eiffel Tower failure pattern has all the 33s at 34.49 down 82 cents now I just think it's stuck I think it's digesting gains uh, it's, it's done pretty well now it's just taking a bit of a rest 32.69 is the 200 period exponential moving average in the weekly chart. So just as we're going to wrap it up, I'm going to hand it over to Steve. Great programming here at TFNN. Check out my opening call um, newsletter. We had some really nice gains. Now, one of the things that I'm looking at here is um, within the context of what's going on right now, what does it mean? Well, let me just quickly show you. Look, the Dow came off that inside track propellant zone. It's off the 39,055 low that it made. It's up 100 points from that. 
It's down just 421. I'm calling this a digestive phase. Now, it's going to become more of a digestive phase if the S&P, which is trading down 54, um, closes under 51.50 this week. I, I'd have to say 51.47, but I'm going to make it 51.50. Close under that says it's going to be more than just a little digestive phase. It could go on. And, and because of that, uh, because of the number of round numbers that I'm looking at and the, the amount of points that most of these have pulled back underneath those round numbers, and a lot of the round numbers were at the open. When it's at the open, to me, that's really important. It just says there was... Uh, um, Fear of missing out buying. And that just, you pay a penny, that's hubris when you think you know better than the market. So I'm just saying be really careful here. Put some stops in on your longs or maybe just take a little bit of profit and then widen the stops to give you some room. In the meantime, caution, as I said to subscribers this morning when I sent my newsletter out four times, uh, having just missed by minutes uh, getting one of the positions that's up really sharply today. Um, Check 